Can you solve today's math problem? So we have 15 minus 2x all underneath the square root bar is equal to x. So the first thing we're going to do is cancel out our square root by squaring both sides. And so that's going to cancel out that part and leave us with 15 minus 2x is equal to x squared. Now I'm going to get everything to the same side. So I'm going to add 2x and subtract 15 from both sides. And that's going to end up giving me 0 is equal to x squared plus 2x minus 15. So now we can just factor this and we need to find two numbers that add to positive 2 and multiply to negative 15. And so that would be positive 5 and negative 3 because they add to 2 and multiply to negative 15. That means we have two possible solutions that satisfy this equation. So we would have x equals negative 5 and x equals positive 3. But because our original equation had a radical in it, we actually need to plug in both of these answers to see if we have any extraneous solutions. So the original equation was square root 15 minus 2x is equal to x. So if we plug in negative 5, we would have square root 15 minus 2 times negative 5 is equal to x. So that would be square root 15 minus 2 times negative 5. So that would be 15 minus negative 10 or 15 plus 10, which would be 25 is equal to x. And so the square root of 25 would be 5 is equal to x. Now remember, we're plugging in negative 5 for x. So is 5 equal to negative 5? No, it's not, okay? Because we need the principal square root of 25. That's gonna be positive five, not negative five. So x equals negative five does not work because that is an extraneous solution. Now let's check x equals three. So we have square root of 15 minus two times three is equal to x. So 15 minus six, that'd be square root of nine is equal to x. And so three is equal to, we're plugging in three, and that is true. So x equals three would be correct. X equals negative five would not be a solution.